guys, so I got to go to Target for the first time in like probably a month and I went a little bit crazy. I was so excited just to be going back and I had my mom take me, not for a grocery trip, but pretty much strictly for just messing around trip. Um, so I got some things, um, thank you to my mother who was very nice and just let me go a little bit crazy. <sighs> um, so I got a little bit of everything. I got, um, first thing. I got is a pillow, and I got this pillow for my room. I love yellow, orange, and blue. I think it's one of my favorite color combinations, honestly. Um, so this is an awesome pillow that will, I don't know how, where I'm going to put it. I don't know yet. Vanity chair. Is that weird? Maybe. I don't know, but I really love this pillow. I am so glad that I have it. It fits with my room perfect. Um, I love rainbow, you know. And then the other home type thing that I got. I got two things like that. I got this vanity. It's it's a three section organizing tray. Um, but I'm going to put it in my vanity and organize maybe my eyeshadows with it. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, it'll be something like that. I will figure it out. Either like eyeshadows or maybe lip glosses. We'll see. Probably lip glosses. I'm thinking lip glosses. But I'm glad to have another one of the, the organizer tray type things because I definitely need more. Um, yeah, so this will either be desk or vanity. Oh, yes. Thanks for that. And then I got some clothing items. Uh, the first non-exciting clothing item I got were a pair of yoga pants and these are just the short fitted crop. It's yoga crop green yellow fitted times. I don't, oh these were like $14 which is pretty good for yoga pants. It's his Target brand so um and this is what they look like. I don't know if this is the front or the back. I didn't really... This is the back. Let me show you the back. This is what it looks like. And it has a yellow to green gradient. Um, actually, no. If I, oh, yep, it does. If I fold it over, you can tell. It has a yellow to green gradient. Um, so, I really, really like these. Or green to yellow, sorry. I think these are pretty cute. And they're, they're going to be actually pretty good for working out. Um, and then I got a pair of shorts, um, just from, again, Mossimo Supply Co., which I believe is the, um, Target brand clothing. I'm not, don't take my word for it, but that's what I'm pretty sure it is. And these are a pair of, um, I think they call this acid wash, which is one of my favorite washes of denim, but I haven't actually had a pair like this before. They're acid wash, lower waist, and straight hip shorts, and they have, um, like American flag stuff on them. They have blue with white stars, and then red and white stripes and some stars, and I thought these are perfect for 4th of July. I didn't have anything festive this year, um, and I love these shorts in general. I think they are so cute, um, and all my shorts have detailing on them this year. I think I only had two pairs that don't have some sort of, no, three, sorry, uh, three pairs that don't have some sort of pattern or extra stuff. Like, I have two denim shorts, I have one with lace, which I'm wearing today, um, and then I have another one with, um, uh, anchors, and then I have this one, which has the, um, acid wash and then the pattern there. So, I don't really have any normal shorts, but that's okay. I like that. Um, and then I got a book. I forgot to mention this. I got Sarah Dessen's The Moon and More. And can we talk about this cover? Oh, it's a signed copy! Oh! It better actually be a signed copy, otherwise I'm going to cry. It's a signed copy! Oh, no! I am so excited! I didn't even see this! I just thought it was like, oh yeah, Sarah Dessen, no, no. I have a signed copy of a Sarah Dessen book. Sarah Dessen is one of my favorite authors. I don't know, all these things, pretty much, this half of the, my bookshelf, you can't even see. Um, my half, like half of my bookshelf is just Sarah Dessen, half a shelf, to be fair. But, I love Sarah Dessen. She is one of my favorite authors, and now I have a signed copy of her book. I have a bunch of signed John Green stuff, so, like, his signature has kind of worn off on me. Like, oh yeah, I have, like, five signed things by John Green. Um, I've never met him, but this is exciting because I have nothing to sign by Sarah Dessen. This is her new book. I am really excited about it. I can't believe that I finally got it. I love the color of the name. I just think that's an 
awesome. I don't even know what it's about, but I know I'm gonna love it, so super excited about this. <laughs> even more so than before. And then I got some makeup stuff. Yay! Everybody's favorite. So the first thing I got is the least exciting thing here, and this is the e.l.f. Mechanical Eyelash Curler. Um, and this is just a $1 one. They changed it to white. Generally, they're black. And mine, um, what happened with it is it got used too much, and so now it's not working as well because I had it for like a year and a half. Whoops. Um, so I just figured it's time for a replacement. These are a dollar. I don't care. I, I should just stock up. <laughs> um. The next thing I got is the Maybelline Volume Express. It's not volume, it's volume. I swear. Um, because it, it doesn't have the E, so it's not volume, it's volume. That's how I say it. People probably think I'm strange, but volume express. Um, I'm not dumb. <laughs> this is the waterproof um falsies big eyes mascara so basically it's the falsies mascara but it also has a one for bottom lashes and this is two things that i need in one because i've been dying for a good bottom lash mascara um and also waterproof mascara i don't have one and it's summertime also known as britney is screwed so i got one now i have one everything's good again and then the next thing I got was a Scandal Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner from Rimmel. I love these eyeliners. These are comparable to the Urban Decay liners with $12 less off the price tag, which is fantastic. I am so obsessed with these. I have a silver one, and I would wear it every day except for the fact that the color is silver, which is a little bit little bit impractical, but that's okay because the next thing I got were these blue eyeshadows from e.l.f. So, impractical city here. Um, this is the brightening, or no, flawless eyeshadow. They got new quads. A uh, flawless, flawless eyeshadow quad in Sea Escape. And this is something I've been eyeing because I love blue eyeshadow now. I don't know what's going on, but blue eyeshadow has been really cool for me. So, um that yes uh the next thing i got is a um what's it called lipstick that i saw in um what's your face miss glamorazzi miss glamorazzi a recent haul and this is the pink cognito lipstick from revlon um yes can we talk about everything that is perfect with this lipstick because flawless right yes am i cool yeah um and i wanted to get the Pango Mango lip gloss to go with it, but they didn't have it. They were out of everything, pretty much of, in that color. Not pretty much. They were out of that color. Um, so instead, I got something that looked like it was probably similar. And this is the Revlon Color Burst in Peony Pavilion. Again, not dumb. This is just a really weird name. I'm not sure, but this is what the color looks like, and I figured it would be rather similar. Um, to that color, I mean, here we go, this is this in comparison, so, maybe you can't even see, but it's pretty much the same color, so I'm excited, because that looks like a really pretty lip gloss combo, and then the last but not least thing that I got is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder, it's sunny, because, also, are there any actual other colors than this besides sunny, because, I don't think so. I think they only have Sunny, so why do we even say Sunny? Because we don't need to. They only have one. We all know. I didn't even check, but this is for sure Sunny. Um, and this is the first time I've ever even seen this bronzer in person. So that's pretty exciting. And I really do hope I like it, because everybody talks about it, and it looks like it's going to be a really nice color, but I'm not quite sure yet. Um, so, there is that. Uh, I, this is the first bronzer, actually no, I have two actual bronzers now. I have one that's part of a trio, and then one that's part of a duo, and then I do have an actual bronzer that I bought just for the purpose of being a bronzer, and then I have this one, which is another bronzer that I bought just for the purpose of being a bronzer, and that's the first bronzer I've actually bought, no, yeah, first real bronzer I've actually bought for myself, so, that is everything. Thank you all for watching, my lovely friends. 
I'm going to go now because I've got a lot of stuff to put away and a book to read. So I'll see you all later and I'm going to go to my mom's office. Sorry. Bye.